Hi, welcome to my video on the Dell 5520 versus the Dell 5511. Uh, recently, my company got some 5520s in stock, uh, which will be replacing the 5511 model, which we got around the beginning of the year. And I thought it might just be interesting just to run them through a synthetic benchmark. And just for reference, I've included some older Dell systems as well. Unfortunately, I only had these machines for a short period of time. Uh, I had to fix them up for, for users and uh, put them back out in the field again. Uh, I basically brought them home, benchmarked them, and put the results into a file, and that's what I'm presenting in this video. What you see here is the total digital content creation score. We'll get to the breakdown in a moment. Uh, if you look at it, you'll see the 5520 far surpasses the 5511, which comes in round about fourth. Uh, just as for interest's sake, I did update all of the drivers to the latest drivers recommended by Dell for each of these models, and they were running the latest Windows updates. Uh, the 5590 surprisingly does quite well for a machine which is three years old. The 5590 is just slightly slower than the 5500 in terms of processing power, yet it comes out a little bit higher than the 5500. Unfortunately, I didn't have a 5510 to run this uh, benchmark on, but the, the processor in the 55. 10 is just slightly below the 5511 and you can see that the 5580 comes in right at the bottom uh, i should also say that all of these machines had intel core i5 processors in of different generations the 5520 being intel's 11th generation processor and the 5511 being a 10th generation processor Let's look at the breakdown of the digital content creation scores. Here you can see that the photo editing score of the 5520 is almost double that of the 5511. And if you look at the video editing scores, you can see that it also has quite a lead on the 5511. As you can see, the 5590 scores above the 5500 in terms of video editing and rendering and visualization. I'm pretty sure that just has something to do with the driver. And we look at the productivity scores and you'll see that in terms of product productivity, the 5520 is only in the middle of all of these systems. And we'll see in the, in the breakdown why that is. The 5511, as you can see, comes out on top and again a slight anomaly with the 5590. If we look at the productivity breakdown, we'll see that the 5520's writing score far surpasses all of the models below it. And the 5511 does a pretty good job. And again, the 5590 is above the 5500. Now, if we look at the spreadsheet scores, we'll see that the 55 20 scores much lower than all of the other systems in this benchmark, which is quite odd. And I'm not 100% sure why that is. But when I looked at the results of the tests on all the machines, I noticed that when running the spreadsheet score, all of the systems, with the exception of the 5520, used a GPU. But the 5520 used a CPU. And I think that is probably because PC Mark probably is not optimized for Iris XE graphics. And hence, that's why the total of the 5520 is a little bit lower on the score. If we look at the essentials, you'll see pretty much uh, the machines are in order of release, uh, with the 5520 far surpassing the 5511. And we'll just look at the breakdown. As you can see, in terms of startup, uh, the 5520 is way above all of the machines again. And the 5590, oddly enough, again, just, just beats the 5500. In terms of web browsing score, the 5520, again, surpasses all of the machines in the test. And the 5580 doesn't do too bad a job. Uh, in terms of web browsing and video conferencing. 
And in terms of video conferencing, you'll see the 5520 far surpasses the 5511 and all of the other models. Uh, and again, we see that twist between the 5590 and the 5500. And here we have the PC Mark 10 score. As you can see, the 5520 is almost a thousand points above the 5511. And the 5590, oddly enough, scores slightly better than the 5500. And of course, the older dual core 5580 right at the bottom. Yeah, and it's taken me over a week to come to a conclusion here. You'll see I've had a haircut um, and a clothes change. Uh, yeah, from my side, the 5520 really looks like a good option to improve performance. Uh, all of the machines on the list actually are still pretty good. The 5580 starting to show its age a bit, but uh, I think probably if you need to, you could probably stretch it for another year. Uh, something that just didn't sit quite well with me was why the 5590 scored higher than the 5500 on most of these tests. Uh, if I get an opportunity, I'll look into that uh, a bit more and I'll post a, another video. A second conclusion that I came to was that we're actually really just testing Dell's implementation of these various i5 processes. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any comments, please do uh, leave them in the comment section and if you have some time, please do share, like and subscribe. Uh, yes, thank you so much. Have a good day.